What if the story of your ancestors is far more interconnected than you ever imagined? Imagine this, a quiet piece of history, hidden within your very DNA, connecting you to people and places you've never known. What if I told you that millions of people across the globe, perhaps even you, carry fragments of African DNA, woven into the fabric of their being, passed down through generations, through migrations, through history itself? Africa isn't just another continent. It's the continent, the birthplace of humankind. Every person alive today carries a link to Africa in some way. But for millions, there's more. Hidden traces of African ancestry, etched deep in their genetic code. For centuries, these stories were erased, hidden, or forgotten. But today, science is rewriting history, piece by piece, gene by gene. Think about this. What if your DNA could reveal that connection? What if a single discovery could completely transform how you view yourself, your history, and even the world? In this video, we're about to take you on an unforgettable journey. A journey into the untold legacy of African DNA. From its foundational role in the human genome to its hidden influence in unexpected populations across Europe, the Middle East, and beyond, we'll uncover the science, the stories, and the stunning revelations reshaping everything we thought we knew about our shared past. So, are you ready to unlock the story your DNA has been waiting to tell? Let's dive in. Africa is often called the cradle of humanity, and for good reason. Around 200,000 to 300,000 years ago, in the heart of Africa, modern humans first emerged. This wasn't just an isolated event. It was the beginning of a story that would shape the entire human species. Fossils and genetic studies reveal that all modern humans share a common African origin, making Africa the foundation of who we are today. But what made Africa so unique? The continent's vast landscapes, ranging from dense forests to open savannas, provided the perfect conditions for early humans to develop complex tools, social structures, and ultimately, the ability to migrate. These migrations weren't small. They were monumental. Between 70,000 and 50,000 years ago, small groups of humans left Africa embarking on a journey that would eventually populate every corner of the globe. Here's where it gets fascinating. While some of these early humans ventured out, many stayed behind, leading to extraordinary genetic diversity within Africa itself. In fact, Africans today hold more genetic diversity than any other population on Earth. This diversity reflects the long history of adaptation, innovation, and resilience that took place on the continent. Yet, the legacy of African DNA didn't stop with those early migrations. Even after humans spread across Europe, Asia, and beyond, Africa continued to influence global genetics. Through trade, migrations, and historical events like the Trans-Saharan Exchanges and even the Roman Empire's connections with North Africa, the story of African DNA became deeply intertwined with that of the rest of the world. Think about it. The DNA that courses through your veins, no matter where you come from, carries whispers of this ancient history. It's a testament to the fact that humanity's story is one of connection, resilience, and shared origins. But this is just the beginning. What happens when that African legacy intertwines with other cultures and continents? And what secrets can modern science uncover in our genetic code? Let's move deeper into the untold story. When we talk about African DNA, we're not just talking about a single story. It's a tapestry of countless lineages, histories, and adaptations that span over thousands of years. Africa is home to the oldest and most diverse human populations on the planet, and its genetic diversity is unparalleled. Let's break it down. Across the continent, there are more than 2,000 distinct ethnic groups, each with unique cultural and genetic characteristics. This diversity is not just about geography. It's deeply rooted in the continent's history of migration, climate shifts, and even ancient interbreeding events with archaic humans. For example, certain populations in Africa, like the Khorasan people of southern Africa, carry some of the most ancient and genetically distinct lineages in the world. Their DNA offers a window into what humanity might have looked like tens of thousands of years ago, long before the first migrations out of Africa. But it doesn't stop there. Genetic studies reveal fascinating stories of adaptation. Take the East African highlands where groups like the Amhara and Oromo peoples have developed genetic traits to thrive in low-oxygen environments. Or the Fulani, who are spread across West Africa and have unique genetic signatures tied to their nomadic lifestyle and resistance to diseases like malaria. 
Even more intriguing is the presence of archaic DNA within modern African genomes. While much of the focus has been on Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA found in non-Africans, researchers are uncovering evidence of ancient interbreeding events between early modern humans and now extinct archaic hominins right within Africa. These traces of archaic DNA remind us that Africa's genetic history is complex and still holds many secrets waiting to be uncovered. And let's not forget the role of migrations. The Bantu expansion, one of the largest human migrations in history, spread agriculture, language, and DNA from West Africa to Eastern and Southern Africa thousands of years ago. This migration not only reshaped the genetic landscape of the continent, but also left its mark on populations far beyond Africa. So, why is this diversity so important? It's because African DNA doesn't just represent the past. It holds the key to understanding the future of humanity. From unlocking medical breakthroughs to solving mysteries about our evolutionary history, the genetic wealth within Africa is a treasure trove of untapped potential. And speaking of the global impact of African DNA, it's time to explore how this genetic legacy spread far beyond the borders of the continent. The connections between Africa and the rest of the world run deeper than you might think. The story of African DNA isn't confined to the continent. It has spread across the world, influencing the genetic makeup of populations far beyond its borders. This global reach is a testament to Africa's foundational role in the history of humanity. It all began around 60,000 to 70,000 years ago, with the first migrations of modern humans out of Africa. These early adventurers carried with them the genetic legacy of the continent, a legacy that would shape populations across Europe, Asia, and the Americas. But the story doesn't end with that initial migration. It's much richer and far more complex. Take Southern Europe, for example. Studies have shown that populations in countries like Spain, Italy, and Portugal carry a small but significant percentage of sub-Saharan African DNA, dating back to events like the Roman Empire's extensive trade networks and the Moorish rule of Iberia. These genetic traces reveal a history of interactions, trade, and even conquest that tied Africa and Europe together. In the Middle East, the connections are even stronger. Levantine populations, such as those in modern-day Lebanon, Israel, and Palestine, show between 4% and 15% African ancestry, likely stemming from migrations, trade, and cultural exchanges over the last thousand years. The Arab slave trade also played a role in bringing African genes into the Arabian Peninsula, with traces still visible in the genetic makeup of many populations there today. And then there's the Jewish diaspora. Genetic studies have revealed that Jewish populations from Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa all carry between 3% and 5% African ancestry. This shared heritage likely dates back to a common ancestral population, as well as historical interactions during the Roman and Biblical periods. The transatlantic slave trade also profoundly shaped the global spread of African DNA. Over 12 million Africans were forcibly taken to the Americas, where their descendants have created vibrant, diverse communities across North and South America and the Caribbean. Today, African ancestry is a core part of the genetic identity of populations in places like Brazil, Haiti, and the United States, where millions of people trace their roots back to the African continent. Even in regions where African ancestry might seem unexpected, such as parts of Asia, there are fascinating genetic connections. Communities like the Siddhis in India and Pakistan are descendants of Africans who arrived as traders, soldiers, or enslaved people centuries ago. Despite their small numbers, they have preserved a cultural and genetic legacy that bridges Africa and South Asia. These connections remind us that the human story is one of movement, connection, and shared heritage. African DNA serves as a common thread, linking diverse populations and revealing a history of interdependence and exchange. But as we reflect on the global impact of African DNA, it's equally important to consider the challenges faced by those who carry this legacy. From the erasure of identity to the ongoing fight for recognition, the story of African DNA is as much about resilience as it is about heritage. Next, we'll explore how African DNA has played a pivotal role in shaping modern science, medicine, and our understanding of human evolution. Stay tuned as we uncover why this legacy is more relevant than ever in today's world. The story of African DNA doesn't just connect us to the past, it's also shaping the future. In the fields of genetics, medicine, and anthropology, the contribution of African DNA is groundbreaking, 
offering insights that could transform how we understand humanity and solve some of the most pressing health challenges of our time. First, let's talk about genetics. Africa is the birthplace of modern humans, and as a result, it's home to the most genetically diverse populations on Earth. In fact, a single African village can contain more genetic variation than the entire population of Europe. This diversity is a goldmine for researchers, helping us map the human genome more comprehensively and uncover variations that might otherwise remain hidden. For example, researchers studying African genomes have identified genetic adaptations linked to resistance against diseases like malaria and sleeping sickness. These findings aren't just important for understanding African populations, they are critical for global health. Malaria alone kills hundreds of thousands of people every year, and studying how African populations have adapted to this disease could pave the way for more effective treatments and vaccines. African DNA is also helping scientists understand how humans adapt to extreme environments. Take the Amhara people of Ethiopia, who have genetic adaptations allowing them to thrive at high altitudes with low oxygen levels. These genetic traits, which evolved over thousands of years, are shedding light on how the human body can adapt to some of the harshest conditions on Earth. But it's not just about adaptation, it's also about innovation. African DNA is playing a pivotal role in personalized medicine, a cutting-edge field that tailors treatments to an individual's genetic makeup. This approach has the potential to revolutionize healthcare. But here's the challenge. Most existing genetic research has focused on European populations, leaving African populations underrepresented. This lack of representation can lead to treatments that are less effective, or even harmful, for people of African descent. That's starting to change. Initiatives like the Human Heredity and Health in Africa Project, or H3Africa, are working to close the gap by studying the genetic diversity of African populations. These efforts aren't just benefiting Africans. They are benefiting the entire world by making genetic research more inclusive and comprehensive. Even beyond medicine, African DNA is helping us solve some of the biggest mysteries about our origins. For decades, scientists have debated where and how modern humans evolved, and African DNA is providing the answers. From ancient DNA found in Ethiopian highlands to the remains of the Green Sahara populations, these discoveries are rewriting the story of human evolution, showing us how our ancestors survived thrived, and spread across the globe. Perhaps the most exciting part of this journey is the potential for the future. By studying African DNA, we're not only unlocking the secrets of the past, we're also gaining tools to tackle the challenges of tomorrow. From new vaccines to breakthroughs in genetic engineering, the possibilities are endless. And yet, as we look to the future, it's vital to approach this research with respect and integrity. Genetic studies have the power to empower communities, but they also carry the risk of exploitation. That's why initiatives led by African scientists and researchers are so important. They ensure that the benefits of genetic discoveries are shared equitably and that the legacy of African DNA is honored, not appropriated. The story of African DNA is far from over. In fact, it's just beginning. Every discovery, every breakthrough, brings us closer to understanding who we are, not just as individuals, but as a species. And at the heart of it all is Africa, the cradle of humanity, whose genetic legacy continues to inspire and shape the future. Next, we'll wrap up with a reflection on how the legacy of African DNA challenges us to rethink identity, heritage, and what it truly means to be human. The story of African DNA is far more than a scientific exploration. It's a powerful reminder of our shared humanity. When we look at the legacy of African DNA, we're confronted with a profound truth. Despite our surface differences, we are all deeply connected. Think about this. Every person alive today can trace their ancestry back to Africa. No matter where your family comes from, whether it's the bustling streets of Europe, the vast plains of Asia, or the islands of the Pacific, your story began in Africa. This is where our species took its first steps, where we survived and adapted, and where we evolved into the diverse, creative beings we are today. But African DNA doesn't just connect us, it challenges us. It pushes us to rethink rigid ideas about race, identity, and heritage. For centuries, we've relied on labels to divide ourselves. White, Black, European, African, Asian. Yet, as genetic research shows us, these categories are far more fluid than we imagined. The truth is, race is a social construct, not a biological one. 
Beneath our skin, we share 99.9% of the same DNA. That 0.1% that makes us unique is a testament to humanity's incredible diversity, not its division. This story also forces us to confront uncomfortable chapters in history. The traces of African DNA found in people who identify as white, for example, are a stark reminder of slavery's dark legacy and the generations of exploitation that shaped our societies. But these genetic threads also carry stories of resilience and survival. They remind us that history is not just a series of events. It lives within us, in our blood, in our genes, in who we are. At the same time, African DNA offers a message of empowerment. It reminds African-descended people across the world of their rich heritage, a heritage that predates colonialism and slavery by tens of thousands of years. It's a heritage that speaks of great civilizations, profound knowledge, and the unmatched resilience of a continent that has shaped the world in ways most people don't even realize. So, what does this mean for all of us? First, it means embracing the complexity of identity. We are not just one thing, we are many things. Our DNA tells a story that spans continents, generations, and millennia. It's a story of migration, mixing, and survival. And that's something to celebrate. Second, it means approaching the study of genetics with care and respect. DNA is not just data. It's the story of people, cultures, and histories. As we uncover these stories, we have a responsibility to ensure that the benefits of genetic research are shared equitably and that no group is exploited in the process. Finally, the legacy of African DNA challenges us to reimagine what it means to be human. It reminds us that our differences are not weaknesses, they are strengths. Our diversity is what allowed us to adapt, to innovate, to thrive. And at the root of that diversity is Africa, the cradle of humanity. As we close this journey, ask yourself, how does your story connect to the larger human story? What does your DNA say about who you are and where you come from? And how can the knowledge of our shared ancestry bring us closer together? The legacy of African DNA is, ultimately, a legacy of connection. It's a story that reminds us that we are all threads in the same vast, intricate tapestry. And in a world that often feels divided, that's a truth worth holding on to.